Ladies and gentlemen, hello. Welcome to this first video of the, uh, what, what is it, the, the summer 2021 anime season? That's what it looks like. So, you might be wondering, if you're watching this when it first comes out or within the next couple of weeks, why am I doing a video when the seasons, or when the season hasn't finished? When there's still videos and episodes coming out, right? Well, I may have mentioned this in a previous video, but I decided that I'm going to do separate videos for each show instead, rather than having like a huge hour-long video where I talk about all the shows for like five minutes and it ends up being like an hour to two hours long, depending upon how long I decide to ramble. Um, I decided I'll talk about each show once and uh, just kind of go for as long as I need to. Hopefully less than 15 minutes each episode, so I don't like start to ramble and whatnot. But this one is an exception. Because this one, I'm not going to be talking about the show as a whole. Because this particular video is going to be discussing shows that I dropped. And that I'm not watching anymore and will not watch to completion. Now, these shows go from I dropped them at the first episode to I dropped them like episode 6. I think it's the furthest I've gotten on one of them. Um, but regardless, I'll kind of be going through them, talking about each show that I uh, have uh, dropped and watched, and why, and why I decided to get rid of them. So, we're going to be talking about this show first, which is D-Side, uh, I think it's like Trau Mire the Animation. Um, now, I'm going to assume that you've watched my previous video discussing the anime, what they're about, all that good stuff. This is specifically going to pertain to why I dropped these shows, okay? So, this show, very simple reason for why I dropped it, and that's the animation style. It's all in CG, and I think if you've watched my previous videos, you know how I feel about CG. I don't like it. It, uh, it was not great. Like, there's some I can stomach, and that's actually another, uh, Another one that's coming out this season that I'm actually watching, and it is CG, uh, but it's bearable uh, due to how it, it's handled and what the story's about. But in this one, D-Side is a lot more, uh, it, it's a lot action-heavy, like animation-heavy, which means that the CG style just falls apart. It, it has, it, you can definitely see all the flaws, the weird movements, the awkwardness of it, the... Uh, just uncanny valleyness of it, I would say. Um, although uncanny valley refers to things that look really human to the point where it's, it's weird. But uh, that's what I'd say the animation is for CG, and that's why I don't like it. Um, so that's why this one is just off my list. That's why I did not watch it. That's why I watched one episode. And even like, even like a couple minutes into the video of the first episode, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to watch this one. Um... Was it a bad story? Did it have a bad concept? No. I would have loved if this one was in, like, the, the normal animation style. Um, and I would have watched it to completion and enjoyed it thoroughly, I feel. But since it was CG, I, I can't watch it. It, uh, just not good to me. But you might enjoy it. It's up to you if you can handle the CG style. Just keep that in mind. Moving on to the next one. We're going to be discussing if I can do this. Here we go. So this one might surprise you because I actually enjoyed the, um, uh, what, what, what was the original of this series called? So this is Honor Student at Magic High School, okay? I think the original was called Irregular at Magic High School or something like that. And while the Irregular story follows the, the brother, um, this one follows the sister from the same exact story as the Irregular. It's just told from her perspective which uh, I feel like I did not want to watch. Because I already knew it was going to happen. It was just going to be from a different character's perspective. So it was kind of like a, uh, a side story, essentially, I felt. Um, and I only got, like, one episode in. And I was like, okay, I remember this stuff happening. So I think I'm just going to not watch it. I mean, if you're a huge fan of the regular at Magic High School, you might enjoy this different perspective. I, while I enjoyed the uh, the Irregular and Season 2 of Irregular, um, 
this one, since it was basically the same story, just told from a different perspective, I, I just did not get into it because I'm not a huge obsessive fan of the show. So I wasn't like, oh my god, we get to see from this person's angle? It, uh, it just did not do it for me. So that's why I'm uh, not watching this one. I don't know why I dropped it after the first uh, thing. Everything else about it is good. If you've not seen a regular Magic High School, um, you might enjoy it. Um, it was not bad by any means as far as animation or anything else goes. It's just that I just did not want to like rewatch basically the same story from the uh, different characters' perspective. That's all. That's all that is. Moving on to the next one, we have the Pirate Princess. Um, I had high hopes for this, especially since it released like in August, I think it was, instead of wait the early season. So like they released two episodes right away, right at the beginning. I didn't even finish episode one, and I was like, I'm not into it. I, uh, I thought it was going to be more about, like, her being a pirate and stuff. But, uh, so I, I guess you'd not see a video explaining what the hell this was, because it came out in August after I'd done the other video. So, I'll have to tell you a little bit about the show. So, it's about this girl, whose name I already forgot because I don't care. I think her name is Fena or something like that, if, according to that thing here. Anyway. She starts out as like a, like, a captive, or like some sort of a like. Is it is courtesan the word? In this town, after like she gets shipwrecked, or like uh, her her father's ship gets attacked, and she gets evacuated on a boat by herself. She washes up on the shore of this city, and then like ten years or something later, she's an adult, and she basically is it seems like a prostitute is what it seems like because uh, she's getting sold to this guy to like marry him and she's not like a princess at that point okay right um she was formerly a princess and it comes into play after this group of like ninja samurai things like liberate her and take her to their isle and they're like hey we were in service to your father and he left this like weird rainbow glass behind and we were supposed to guide him somewhere and we got ambushed and yada yada and so she starts out on a journey with them in what looks like a... It's like a submarine, basically, um, to go where her father was originally supposed to go to tr try and figure out what exactly this, like, rainbow glass substance is. So there's no, like, piracy. There's no princessness because she's not a princess right now because I'm, I'm assuming her kingdom got destroyed. She's a former princess and not even a pirate at this point. And the flow of it made it seem like she's definitely not going to be a pirate. Or at least in the pirate in like the, uh, we're going to hold up ships kind of thing. Like, it seems like they might be attacking like kingdom things, but not like trading ships and like doing piratey stuff, right? Um, it seems more of a, uh, less of a, like a chaotic pirate thing and more of a, um, hero's journey kind of thing right um so that's why i was like eh, not, not what i was expecting um the animation was a little it was off to me i think the character design for the main character was also kind of weird and she cut her like beautiful flowing hair in the first episode and i was like well man that's not great <laughs> you know what's funny i've dropped two shows uh because the main character who has had like long cool hair and then they just cut it short and i was like i don't like this character anymore <laughs> uh it, it kind of says a lot about the character if uh them cutting their hair makes you like not like them anymore right because it's like their whole personality was nothing but their hair at that point but anyway i dropped it uh just some weird arbitrary reasons like that um I just didn't really feel pulled into the story after the first couple episodes. And that's why I was like, eh. And that's, that's a theme for this uh, this dropped list here. Um, basically, if the show came up on my, my weekly list of, you know, the shows to watch for that day, and I was like, oh, I gotta watch this, I decided to just drop it. And that's where the next two come into play, okay? So the next one, Scarlet Nexus. It was doing okay. 
However, it was something that did not grip me and pull me into the story and want me to, like, keep watching it. And I don't know if that's because it was a uh, an anime based on a game or, or what exactly it was about, but I got, like, six episodes in, right? And I, uh, I liked what I saw. They did use some CG animation, which was annoying, but... For the most part, it was okay animation-wise. The thing was, it just didn't pull me in. It didn't grip me. The story seemed kind of like... I, it confused me a bit. And it was just something I was like not really excited about watching. And since I am watching like 25 shows, or I was after I dropped uh, these, these shows I'm talking about. Originally, it was 25. And since I'm watching so many shows the week, uh, and that's like... 20 minutes each show uh, by dropping this one I freed up 20 minutes of my life and it was something I wasn't excited about and I was just like why why should I keep watching this if it's not something that's pulling me in and making me excited to watch it right and so I dropped it that's the simple thing of it that's all there is to it uh, that, that's why I dropped it yep the next one is the Venitas no Carte which uh yeah, it's actually really, really decent. It's a decent show, and, uh, like, the character design's great. The women in it are cute, because th the animation of the, the men in it, they're handsome and hot as hell. And so the women, by uh, contrast, are also hot and beautiful, because, as I mentioned when I had talked about this show uh, in the first video, talking about the season after my first impressions of it and whatnot... I had mentioned that if uh, an artist can do, like, really hot guys, they can also do really beautiful women. And that is definitely the case in this show. Um, and so, it was cool. I liked the concept and everything. It's just, it felt a little dry, a little lackluster. And anytime I saw it come up, I was like, oh, I gotta watch this one. Okay. And uh, it, it just didn't pull me, like, into it and get me, like... I cannot wait for this to happen. Um, and that's basically what, like, happened with a lot of the shows that I dropped. And this is the last one that I did drop, so I only dropped a total of five this season. Um, and don't get me wrong, there is one more that's coming out called Megaton Musashi, or apparently it's supposed to be coming out this season. Um, it was on this season's list, but uh, I think the release thing that I had was supposed to be July, but I have not seen it on the, uh, the site. Uh, or, or on any of the sites that I, I use for the anime. So I'm not sure if it's like releasing on a site that I'm not aware of or, or what is going on with that one. Um, I looked at the trailer and it doesn't appear to be CG, so I don't think I would drop it for that reason. Um, but I, I don't know how that one will go. Or if I'll ever talk about it, because I don't know if I can find a place to watch it. I don't know. I might have to do some intense Googling after this, but I just wanted to mention that one just in case. But So these are the five shows that I have dropped so far this season. Um, when I say so far, I mean this season, because so far every other single show that I've seen and I'm watching, I am gripped by and I am waiting to get pulled in and continue to, to watch them. There's some that I like am watching and it's pulling me in so quickly and so like intensely that I feel like only half the episode's gone by and the episode ends. And I'm like, what? No way. And that's that's exactly how the, the last episode of Reincarnated as a Slime felt. Um, everything felt like it went by so quickly because um, it was just so amazing. And then it just ended and I was like, what? No, that was only half. What? But, uh, but yeah. So I'm really excited about some of the other shows that are coming out. And I, I look forward to talking to them in the next uh, like month or two when they finish wrapping up. And like I said at the beginning of this video, I want to talk about each show by itself. That way, I don't spend like an hour talking straight and just get like bored of talking. And I actually like ex expound or expand, expand. Uh, I think expound is a word too, but I can expand upon why I like the show, why I think you should watch it. I can give a, a good section of non-spoilers and then spoiler stuff. And, uh, just kind of talk about things all in all. Um, there are a couple of shows that are kind of treading the line between me 
not wanting to watch them and watch them. And that's okay for these ones that I'm still on the, the fence about because I've made it so far and the stories are actually pretty decent. Uh, I just want to see kind of what happens. Um, but yeah, that's how things are going so far. I definitely have my favorites of this, uh, this season. Uh, and I can tell you them right now as a little added bonus for this particular video. Um, so far, I am really into the uh, Tsukiga uh, Michi Biki anime, which is about that, uh, that like, guy from Earth getting reincarnated, or not reincarnated, sent to a world with uh, all these, like, attractive humans, but he's, like, a monster and the goddess hates him. It's been great. Um, there's also uh, Girlfriend, Girlfriend, which is the story about the guy who basically gets two girlfriends right off the bat and has a harem. Uh, it's been hilarious, but so embarrassing, cringe, like, and, like, embarrassing, uh, the second-hand embarrassment thing, where it's, like, you feel embarrassed for the main character and the characters involved. Uh, there's also the uh, Higurashi season that's coming out. It's, it's been a delight. It's been a treat, and I love that one. And there's also the, um, what, what is it? It's uh, Make You Black Company, which has been uh, a treat as well. It's been pretty great. There's also more isekai and just everything else coming out there. I could list, like, ten of them right off the bat that I really like. Like, the Realist Hero, like, Standing on a Million Lives second season. Like, uh, Seirei Genshoki, uh, My Life as a Villainous, Peach Boy. A lot of cool shows. Also, if you've not seen my Peach Boy video, watch it now. The one that I had just released, like, a couple weeks, maybe a month ago or something like that. Because the episodes are fucking good, but they're out of order. And I don't know why the director or whoever decides this decided to do it, but they should be banned from doing this in the future because the story is out of order in terms of episodes. But if you put the episodes in the right order, it still makes sense, and it makes more sense because you're actually introduced to characters when you should be, and there's not just, like, episodes where the character is introduced and their name is revealed happening after the character has been a part of the story and been called that name uh, for a couple of episodes. It's weird. Um, so with the Peach Boy Riverside, uh, when that one finishes, I plan to release a video for the review of what my thoughts were on it, and also a separate video that's a lot shorter, probably only five minutes long. That'll be me discussing the proper viewing order of the show. I already have like a, a spreadsheet, not a spreadsheet, it's like a, a notepad document and it's like, this is the episode order for this show that it should go in chronologically. Ah, it's, it's insane. Anyway, I began to ramble. I'm looking forward to seeing more of the episodes coming out for the shows that I am continuing to watch. And like I said, these are the shows that I have dropped. And that's that. So this is the first video review of the summer 2021 anime season. And I hope you look forward to seeing the other ones when the show's complete. And the schedule for that is whenever they complete, I'm going to do a video on it so it's fresh in my mind. And then I'll upload it, like, the day after or something. So uh, it might take a little longer if there's multiple episodes or multiple shows that end on the same day. Uh, but I think the furthest we are currently for episodes is episode 8. So... We have at least four more episodes, if not five more episodes, before the season wraps up, which means it's going to be about a month, month and a half, before uh, the videos actually come out. So, I'm jumping the gun a little bit with this video, but like I said, I think all the ones that I'm going to drop, I have dropped, and so I'm done with these. That's my thing. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope that you all look forward to the next video of the review of the anime in like five months. And uh, not five months, five weeks. Five weeks. That's what it is. Yeah. So, until next time, everyone. I'll catch you later. Bye for now.